Hey there, my fellow Chuck and friends. Welcome. I'm Megan Maria. I'm your Chuck Couture Independent Designer and welcome, welcome, welcome. We are doing a bunch of fun things this week with font transfers where we are taking super cute letters and creating personalized messages, sentiments, all kinds of fun things. So I hope you guys are good. I hope you're ready because we are actually going to personalize a sign this evening. If I can find you, where are you? There you are. Welcome, welcome everybody. All right, hello, Miss Nevada Nicole. Hello, Miss Carol. Hello, Miss Cindy. Welcome everybody. All right, so we're gonna take the combination of two different transfers. We're going to use the modern font, which is super cool, tiny, they're not really tiny, but I'd say they're, they're one inch letters. They're block letters. This is a C size transfer. C sizes are $24.99 and it has the really cute cool little registration marks that are going to make this very easy to create with. And then we're going to take the life story home transfer and we're going to create them combined. We're going to do it on a chalkboard with a uh, frame. I like to go find hunting. Um, at thrift stores and buy old pictures or old frames and then I like to spray paint them because I love to spray paint. Who doesn't love to spray paint? I mean, it's just like way, way fun spray painting. Um, so I'm gonna, I spray painted the frame. It's got some nice detailing to it and um, we're gonna create and I've got some floral. I'm gonna put some floral on it. I can't decide on the floral or not, but we're gonna take this very fun little transfer. We're gonna put it on and then we're going to put my last name above it. That is our plan. So I'm gonna take the transfer. For those of you who are new to us, oops, it's upside down, so oops. Really upside down. There we go. <laughs> um, this is what a Chuck Couture adhesive silk screen transfer looks like. Um, it's adhesive, it's sticky, it's a silk screen. It creates beautiful foolproof results pretty much every time you use it. You cannot mess this up. <laughs> You really can't. If I can do this, anybody can do this. Um, and it takes crafting and creating and takes it to a whole new level um, because anybody can do this. So I'm gonna take my transfer and I'm going to write the name of the transfer on the back, which is Life Story Home, right? Life Story Home. And I, I write the year because that is how I organize my transfers, is by the catalog, so it helps me keep track of what goes where. Um, so I really like this transfer because I think the houses are super cute. And it's one of my intentions to take the houses and make individual signs with just the houses. And um, my husband and I have owned two homes together um, and we're about to own a third. So I wanted to take each little house and put like the name of the road underneath each one. Um, so there's a couple different fun little things that you can do with these transfers because they have these super cute little houses on them. Um, so it kind of gives you, you know, that creativity option of taking it and thinking it outside of the box of it. I haven't made those signs yet. I will. <laughs> I should probably have the third house before I start decorating it, right? I keep telling myself that. Well, thank you, Miss Nicole. I do think it would be cute, too. I'm going to take my transfer off its backer sheet. Backer sheet's a very important piece of paper. It's sticky, fancy um, sticker paper. It's how you're going to store your transfer when you're all done. I'm going to place my transfer on our board. Our letters don't take up a ton of space, so I do want to, you know, kind of make sure that I am... Um, I've got enough room for our letters, and I'm kind of spaced. So, I take my transfer, I seal it down, I go up and down all the teal parts with my finger just so that I seal it all up. I open up my white chocolate paste. I take a squeegee, or actually we're gonna use a bigger squeegee. We're gonna use a small squeegee. I take the small squeegee. The small squeegee has an angled side and a flat side. The flat side is the back, the angled side is the front. I dip it in my chalk paste. I load up the angled side with chalk paste. I hold it straight up and down, straight up and down, and I pull it across. I just pull the chalk across the silk screen. I am not painting, so I'm not going like this, 
Lots of people do this when they first start chalking. See, and you end up with these big blobs of chalk. You are going to hold your squeegee straight up and down and just pull that chalk paste right across the silk screen. If you get these thick lines, you're going to smooth them out. Take all that excess chalk paste, you're going to put it right back in your container. But you do need to smooth out any lines that you create because you will see them when you pull the silk screen off. It's kind of like shoveling your driveway. For those of you who are in cold climates, you know what I mean. When you push the snow across your driveway, it leaves this like line of a trail. You have to go back and clean that up or you turns into ice and you trip going down your driveway. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to carefully remove my backer sheet. I started in the corner, but I'm actually going to pull it from the middle. I take this, I stick it right in my water bath, which is right next to me. I stuck the transfer back together. Okay, so I stick it in my water bath right next to me. I'm going to rinse it with cool water. I'm going to let it dry. Then I'm going to put it back on that backer sheet, and it's good to go because it's reusable. All right, so first of all, this is just super cute all on its own. Oops, I got some chalk where I didn't want it. All right. It's just super cute. Our life, our story, our home. I mean, come on, how cute is this? So you could just do this. This would make a really cute wedding present. Do you just stick that right in your frame? And you could even take some floral and stick it up on top. This would be a cute and adorable, simple, easy little sign. However, we're going to take it up a notch and we're going to put our name above it. So first I need to dry it or I'm going to smear it. Hello, Miss Kara. So I'm drying my chalk paste. I know right away when my chalk paste is dry because it's no longer shiny. It becomes matte. When it's shiny, it's wet. When it's matte, it's dry. It takes very little time to dry but if I don't dry it inevitably as I'm working on putting our name above it I will stick my finger in it and smear it I just know myself I'm not a very careful crafter so I'm just drying it so Kara your idea last night totally worked on the um what I actually did was I took our placement tape and I made the old M that was ruined work by using the placement tape in place of where the transfer pieces were missing because it stuck together. It turned out really cool. All right, so this is what we have so far. We're going to stick my last name above it, which is not a short name. <laughs> I'm just saying, B-R-O-E-R-M-A-N. So, my R is my middle point. So I'm going to take, we're going to use our modern font transfer. I need my R. B-R-O-E-R. -E I am going to use my registration marks to help me out in getting uh, my letters lined up. And then I'm going to wash them right off. So, I've got my first letter down, and if you see those little half circles, that is called a registration mark. That is what uh, is the secret sauce to lining your letters up. So again, I just put the, I, now I'm using a mini squeegee. I take the chalk paste, and I just scrape it across the transfer. I take my little R, start it in the corner, pull from the middle. Put this in my little water bath next to me. And this is what I have so far. So see, I have those registration marks. Those are our little half circles, which we complete the circles as we place the other letters. And that is what makes us lined up. It makes it very fast, very easy, and super convenient to personalize something. I had a girlfriend come here last week. She had bought a sign that was out, like a welcome porch cleaner that was already made. Don't worry, I gave her the, I, I, I did have that little conversation with her about it. Hello, I could have made you this. Um, but it was beautiful. It was hand painted. I mean, it was gorgeous and it was very large. And it was, she was giving it as a wedding gift and she wanted it personalized with the date of the wedding. And then we put 
just said welcome and I think we put to our home and then we put the date of their wedding on it which was really cool b-r-o-e-r-m <laughs> sorry I'm gonna spell my last name wrong one of these times so I'm gonna pull out my M oops which is not completely cut apart so this is my trick to not cutting my backer sheet I just pull the transfer up and cut along the cut lines. That way I'm not cutting through my backer sheet on the back and then I can just line up my letters alphabetically. Makes it much easier to find them when you have a font. So now I'm gonna take my little font guy and I'm gonna complete my circles. That is how I line them up. It's very hard for you to see, but if you look here, you can see underneath the silk screen, you can see the white chalk paste, and that's how I am completing my circle. M. Now I don't need to do the other half of the circles because I've already done that letter. I mean, if it really bothers you, you know, you need to feel like you've got a complete letter, go for it, or a complete circle, but you really only have to do the one side. <laughs> you have to do both sides for your center letter. Okay, so we have our M. Oops, I shouldn't have put my R in my water bath. I'm gonna quick rinse it out here, because we're gonna need it again. So I'm just rinsing the chalk paste with my fingers off of my R in my water bath, like so. And I'm just going to let it sit here and dry while we continue because we're going to need it on the other half. I'm going to dry my M. I really don't use the fonts often enough. I should use them more. They're super easy. And they're fun. Because it's a very unique, one-of-a-kind gift then. So I'm just drying my M. Same thing. Lining up my little circle guys to make a complete circle. Perfect. The biggest challenge when you do this is it sticks to your fingers, so when you go to pull your finger out, it moves it. I like your water bath you keep beside you. When I am crafting, I have to go in from the garage to the kitchen. Yeah, that's a pain. So it's just a dish pan, Kara. And it only really works with the little transfers. I mean, I can stick a C size in it, um, but I prefer not to. Then I just wait um, to go take them to the sink. But it's really just a dish pan. You know, I think I bought it at the dollar store. Um, and I just put my little transfers right in it. Okay, now we have our A. Now, my M was not completely dry, and you're going to see that because now it looks really distressed. See the chalk paste on my M is a little blotchy. I can fix that when I'm all done. I can lay the M back down and redo it. So this time we're going to spend a little more time drying it. Yeah, so Kara, we're working on our new house. And one of my requirements <laughs> is a sink in my craft room. Um, we are years away from building this house, years away, but it's kind of dream, right? And talk about it and think about it. So that's one of my things, is I need a sink. Okay, so we're gonna spend just a minute more drying it so that we don't have that same problem. Now, it would totally work if we had the same problem because then they would just look distressed. And now I need an N, and then we have half of my name done. So we have half of my name done, and we are, you know what, 10 minutes into this? We did the whole transfer, and now we're, we are personalizing it, and we're halfway done. We're more than halfway done. Okay, so again, lining up my circles to give me that. Again, Biggest challenge is it sticks to your finger, so when you pull your finger out, um, it takes it can move your transfer on you. 
and then you start up the lining. Oops, I didn't need to do that. I didn't need to do any registration marks on this one because it's the last letter and then we're not adding an additional letter to them. Okay. O E R. Yeah, okay. All right, so we have the first half of my last name. Easily, quickly. I have not pulled out a ruler. <laughs> I have not pulled out a placement tape, a uh, laser level, nothing. And look at how my letters are lined up and even. That is the beauty of registration marks and how easy it is to create and not have to overthink. This seriously used to give me heart palpitations. The whole thought of trying to line letters up straight and spacing them and making sure one letter wasn't closer or farther than the other. I mean, oh my goodness, serious heart palpitations. So, registration marks take that away. Now how did I start? I started because this was really easy, right? This center of the house, it was my center point, so it made it much easier. The other thing that can make it easier is if you put a background pattern down, like for example a woven plaid or the mini buffalo plaid or the buffalo plaid, it has lines. So it's also very easy to make sure that your, your letters and things are straight. Um, so that can make things Easier for you, not harder. Kara is saying, amen, sister, I have a requirement. I have requirements, a basement or storm shelter, a craft room or shop because, oh, you like tools. With a bathroom, oh yes. And lastly, if we buy, no one could ever have died in the house. <laughs> oh my goodness. How would you know? B-R-O-E-R, -E any lady. How would you know if somebody died in the house, Kara? I suppose you could ask, but what if they like haven't owned it the whole time? How would you know? Gotta cut out my E. Yeah, so we're gonna build eventually. And we have like our list of things that we would like. My husband is getting a ridiculous garage. I call it a garage. Um, for his power tools. <laughs> he has a lot of power tools. He makes a lot of beautiful wood things. They have to disclose it? Really? But what if they don't know? Like what if it was the previous owners? Okay, so now we're doing our E. I'm gonna, cause now we're going backwards in my last name. Now I'm totally gonna screw this up and I'm gonna spell my last name wrong. <laughs> I just know it. All right, so I'm gonna pull off my E. Oops, and I pulled off part of my R. So some of these letters I'm going to need to redo. Now why did that happen? Because that R is the first letter we did, right? And it's been dry for a while, right? So there's a couple reasons why you can lift the paste up when you pull a transfer off. And usually it has to do with, normally it's because your, paint, your paste is not dry enough. But the other reason and I think the more common reason that people don't realize is if you leave your paste on too thick, so if you don't scrape and squeegee enough and your paste is thicker, it's very easy to lift it when you place another transfer. Now this, these are very easy fixes. I just rinse the letters off, place them back down, super easy to line them back up, and it will totally work. Um, but that's why this happens when your paste lifts because you've placed another transfer next to it. Because I've placed another transfer next to it that was sticky, it's pulled the paste off. Um, so I can solve that problem three ways. Number one, really make sure your paste is dry. Number two, don't leave your paste on too thick. And number three, fuzz your transfer. And I'm gonna, we'll do that now as we move forward. Um, I'll show you what I mean, what fuzz your transfer means. I did not know, Kara, that they had to disclose if somebody died in the house. That's kind of interesting. And I worked in the mort or the housing world, real estate. That's the word, real estate world for 28 years, and I didn't know that. That's kind of cool. I didn't sell real estate though. I did loans. And that is what my previous career was. For a very, very, very long time, I helped people buy houses. Okay, so I'm really making sure my E is dry. B-R-O-E. 
So now I need an O. <laughs> I hope to goodness I don't spell my name wrong. Okay, so now I'm going to take my O. And I'm going to line her up. So this is, a, so my little mishap here of the paste coming off. Oops, I was going to fuzz, wasn't I? And I should have because I laid it down and I pulled off part of the E. You know what? Brarman is just going to be distressed. So let me talk about fuzzing. I'm going to take my transfer and I'm going to stick it to a terry cloth towel. And I'm going to pull up some of the lint from the towel, which is going to make my transfer not as sticky, which means, therefore, it doesn't pull as much of the paste off. I sometimes have that issue with these particular chalkboards, especially if it's humid outside, which it's very humid here in Wisconsin right now. Um, I never had this problem with a chalk couture chalkboard, but this is just cheapy chalkboard that my husband cut for me. Because then I can put them in frames. All right, so I'm lining up my O. Taking my little mini squeegee. And scraping away. Put my excess right back in my container. Pulling off my O. Stick my O, B, R. Oh, so now I need an R and a B, and we're done. Other than I'll show you how I'm going to fix. I'll show you how I'm going to fix my R. We'll fix my R before we use it again. So I'm drying it. I'm drying my O. So notice my letters are straight. They're all evenly spaced. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna fix, we'll fix the R. So see, my chalk paste pulled up. I take my transfer, this is the one we had to wash off because I was dumb and I put it in my water bath. And I'm drying it on my towel real quick, which is also fuzzing it. Okay, I just looked it up to make sure I was right. If it is natural causes, they don't have to. But if it's not, they do. Isn't that interesting? So if someone was, you know, met an untimely demise, they have to tell you. <laughs> mm, that's interesting. I, I guess it may, I mean, I, I would, would you want to, do you really want to know, Kara? I just, sometimes ignorance is bliss. Okay, so I've super fuzzed now. So how am I gonna fix that R? I'm gonna fix that R by placing my transfer down. And people always think that lining up a transfer over existing paste is super hard. Like, like how I feel about fonts, it gives me heart palpitations. This always gives people heart palpitations. But it is truly one of the easiest things to do because you can see the chalk paste. See how it, it moves in and out of focus? When it's lined up right, it's hard to do upside down, but see how you can see the R underneath it. So it's very easy. It's not as easy to do upside down. Okay, so see how easy that is to put that R over it. I'm going to just fix it a little bit more because that is really hard to do upside down. But you just line it back up, place it down. You know right away. And now I take my, I just go right over it. Okay. And voila. It's fixed. Just like that. That's how you fix it. Now, we need an R over here. I'm not even going to wash it. I'm going to be totally lazy. Line her up and lay it down. If I start looking at a house and liking it, my husband always says, I bet someone died in it. <laughs> I guess, does that happen that often, Kara? Maybe. You know what? I think we might be into the house. Oh, no, we're not. Okay. One more letter. Okay, so we have those guys fixed. Oops. I'm throwing my 
half in my water bath letter on my project. Don't do that because it's got water all over it. All right. Now we're going to dry that R. So this is what we have so far. Half a name. Or almost half a more, A little more than half a name. We have all those cute little registration marks. We need to wash those off. I'm really going to dry my R. Because then we're going to put a big old B. Well, we have been looking for a house for 10 years. <laughs> okay, so how many houses have you found, Kara, that someone has died in? Oh my gosh, that is so darn funny. Okay, so I'm really making sure that my R is dry. Okay. Do be careful also when you're doing that is if, you're, if your dryer has heat to it, um, you don't want your surface to be hot when you put your transfer down on it either. All right, so now we got our big old B. I'm gonna line it up. Complete our little circles. Who, I'm, whoever came up with the registration marks really should be a millionaire. Because they are genius. Because it makes people like me totally able to do this. Okay, so we just do our B. I don't have to do the registration marks on this one because there's no more letters to line up. Carefully pull it off and hope it doesn't pull in. It's going to pull the other R off again. Darn it all, we're going to do another R. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Did you never it's just going to be one of those days. All right, so we've got the name on here, but now we need to fix that R again. And, of course, now I put it back in my water bath again. Um, so I'm going to dry the Brorman, but this is our super cute little sign. I'm going to fix the letters that pulled, they pulled the paste off on. I'm going to let it dry. I probably won't fix it until tomorrow. <laughs> so tonight you're going to get a half sign. We've been looking... We, oh, you've lived in... 22 years is a long time, Kara. We've only been in this house for eight. At least four houses, wow. Um, okay, so... I got water on my board. All right, so this is our super cute little sign. I have to see all those registration marks. I need to wash all of those off. But I'm going to give you a quick little... This is what it's going to look like in its frame. Like so. This is really cute. It's probably not completely centered. And I was thinking we may want to. Well, let's watch the. We're going to wash the registration marks off and decide if we're going to put floral on it or not. Registration marks are very easy to remove. I actually, maybe I don't want to wash my registration. No, I can wash them off because I'm going to line it up to the letter. Um, so you just wash them off just like you do regular chalk paste. They come off very easily. Just being careful not to get the parts off, wash off the parts you don't want to wash off. Right? I don't want to wash a letter off by accident. But again, because our transfers are reusable, it's very easy to fix. So there's really not many mistakes you can make that you can't fix. Now is where it gets more challenging though because now I have to do the letters in between the two. So again, I'm going to be super careful. Please take a, I've just got a wet wipe, you know, baby wipe. This one's a disinfectant wipe. I prefer to use disinfectant wipes on my boards because um, the baby wipes leave a residue Um, and then you have to try to wash the residue off once you get the residue on. I'm not a huge fan. I use the baby wipes to do things like squeegees, things like that. So I do use baby wipes, but I use disinfectant wipes more often. And you never, ever, ever, ever use a disinfectant wipe on your transfer. Or baby wipe, sorry. You use a disinfectant wipe on your transfer. But don't use the baby wipe. Okay. So I'm just washing it off. One more time because I got a little bit of chuck 
face residue. Just wash it off like so. And I'm getting all those little lines off. And all that residue off. And I, I keep hitting the top of this house, so I keep bringing chalk paste with me. There we go. Okay. Then we'll dry here in a second. I don't know. What do you think? Should we add the floral? I kind of like the floral. Oops. So I buy these picture frames. Usually they're they're gold or they're some funky color because you know they're old. And then I spray paint them. And it gives you a really cute little frame. Because I like the wood detailing of them. Okay. So what do you think? Should we add this on top? Ah! It's much easier if I actually put it together. Okay. Alright, so this is what we got. I like the floral. As long as it doesn't cover it up. I gotta align it properly so it doesn't cover it up. Excuse me. You get the drift. So I'm going to fix my letters. I'm going to fix my letters. I'm going to attach my floral. And this is our super cute little sign for the evening. So this is how easy. I mean, I have a big, long last name. We've been working on this for 35 minutes. 30 minutes, really. I've been working on this for 30 minutes. We have all those letters lined up, plus a transfer. Plus we need, we fixed some things and we have a little more fixing to do. But I'm gonna wash off my letters, I'm gonna let them dry overnight. And then I'm gonna lay them down just like I fixed that one R. And uh, re-chalk the letters. And just like that, we're gonna be all fixed. So, that's what I got for you tonight. I hope you guys have an amazing Thursday, right, Wednesday, Wednesday. It's only Wednesday. Um, these transfers are all part of the Make It Monday bundle that's in the Making Maria Crafty community. This week we're doing all things fonts. This is the modern font transfer, the letters are, and then this is the Life Story Home transfer, which is the three houses and the words underneath it. My last name is done with the modern font transfer. Um, but it's personalized, that means so much to people. Right, Kara? Personalization, like, see this, I think would make a great wedding shower gift. It'd make a cute baby gift. You know, you could you could totally create um, a birth announcement type where you put the child's name, their weight, their height, all that fun stuff because this transfer does have numbers attached to it as well. And it's really easy with those registration marks. And it's reusable. So if you ever used your Cricut or your Silhouette machine to cut out something to personalize it, you can use it once. You crumple it up in a ball when you take it off and you have to throw it away. Um, so that's kind of the beauty of the transfers is the fact that you can reuse them. So that's what I got for you tonight. I hope you have an amazing Wednesday and I uh, will be back at you. If you want to check these out in the Make It Monday bundle, you can go right to the Making Maria Crafty community. It's a free little community. It doesn't cost you anything to be in it. Um, where we kind of share ideas and specials and bundles and deals and funny things and life. So, um, Hope you guys have a great day. I'll see ya. Bye guys.